And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Lots of sunshine and pleasant conditions across Northeast Wisconsin today. Having said that, temperatures once again, we're running about five to eight degrees below normal for this time of year. And overall, we've got more of that on the way. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Tomorrow we're going to see highs mainly in the 50s. Seasonable conditions on Wednesday and Thursday with most of us seeing mid 60s. But then after that, it looks like upper 50s to lower 60s will return right now. That's what most of us are dealing with. We've got 56 in Oshkosh, I should say 59 in Wapaka. It is currently 61 in Shano. Easterly winds are keeping it cooler near the shoreline of Lake Michigan, where temperatures are mainly in the 40s to lower 50s. Right now in the valley, we've got a lot of sunshine. It is 55 degrees and it is very dry out there. Look at that dew point all the way down to 19 in Green Bay. We're looking at a mixture of sunshine and some high clouds. The temperature is currently 57 degrees. High pressure is our main weather maker. It's been our main weather maker for the last several days, but it is now beginning to push off towards the east, and that's going to allow this system to slide in from the west. It's not going to move directly east. It's moving more south and east, so we're going to kind of see a glancing blow from this system as we head through tomorrow with more clouds and the chance for a little bit of rain. You can see a couple of sprinkles now breaking out near the Mississippi River, and then we've got some scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms developing across central and northern Minnesota. South of that system today, feeling like the middle of summer, high temperatures well up into the 80s, but as that system slides south and east, so will the warm air. So we're not going to see those temperatures anytime soon. In fact, we're looking at another chilly night with high pressure and control and mainly clear skies from about the Fox cities north and east. We will be looking at the threat for a freeze or some frost, and that's why we have freeze warnings and frost advisories up for part of northeast Wisconsin. Now, speaking of high temperatures, They've been at or below normal 11 of the last 12 days, and tomorrow we're going to make it 12 out of 13. High temperatures will be mainly in the mid 50s, and that's about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Skycast shows once again, mostly clear skies north and east of Green Bay overnight. As that system approaches from the west tomorrow, we'll see the clouds thicken up. We'll have the chance for some rain or showers during the morning, and then a lot of clouds for the rest of the day, a little bit of sunshine and maybe a couple of showers as that system pushes towards the Ohio Valley by tomorrow night. We'll see a mixture of clouds and some sunshine on Wednesday with just a slight chance for a shower. But with more sunshine, we will warm up a little bit. It looks like most areas will be at least in the lower to mid 60s by Wednesday afternoon, and that is certainly closer to normal for this time of year. So your forecast for tonight calls for variable cloudiness overnight lows, mainly in the 30s, colder north and east of Green Bay warmer south and west of Appleton where we will have more clouds and the chance for a couple of showers as we head towards daybreak. Plenty of clouds tomorrow, a couple of showers, especially early. Temperatures once again will be cool, mainly in the mid 50s, but ranging probably from the lower 50s to the upper 50s. On Wednesday, clouds mixing with some sunshine, a slight chance for a shower. Highs will be in the mid 60s, and that's really the story here as we head through the rest of the work week right into the weekend. We're going to have weak little systems moving through from time to time. Clouds will mix with some sunshine. We'll have a chance for a shower or two. No big washouts, no significant rain in the forecast over the next seven days. And Stacy, no big warm ups 